Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss frequently asked questions and answers in Clinical Research Associate job interview. This is the third part of this series. Also check previous two parts. So let's get started. What do you know about single, double and triple blinded study? In a single blinded study, the subjects in a clinical trial do not know if they are receiving the placebo or the real treatment. In a double blinded study, both the subject and the investigator do not know which group got the placebo and which got the experimental treatment. In a triple blinded study, subjects and investigator and individuals who are responsible for analysis the outcomes are blinded. Next, what is randomization? As per National Cancer Institute, in research, the process by which participants in clinical trials are assigned by chance to separate groups that are given different treatments or other intervention. Neither the researcher nor the patient chooses what the medications or intervention they should receive. Using chance or assigning people to group means that the result of the care or intervention obtained by the participants can be more equally compared. What is open label trials? Open label trials are those where no blinding is done. Subject investigator and individuals who are responsible for analysis know about the treatment and placebo group. What is difference between IB and protocol? Clinical trial protocol describes the objective design methodology, statistical consideration and aspects related to the organization of clinical trials. Simply clinical trial protocol tells us how to conduct scientifically sound, reliable and ethically compliant trials. Investigational brochure enables investigator conducting clinical trials to know the risk and benefits associated with an investigational product. What is the approval process by FDA? The regulatory agency of USA is FDA, which has two bodies. One is CBER and second is CDER. CBER stands for Center for Biological Evolution and Research, while CDER stands for Center for Drug Evolution and Research. CBER agency deals with biological products where CDER deals with drugs and biologicals both. In general, the drug that is chemical approval process in US can be divided into four parts. They are supplemented new drug application, abbreviated new drug application, petition ANDA and new drug application. Explain the role of clinical research coordinator. In general, cl clinical research coordinator works as an assistant to principal investigator. CRC helps in taking the informed consent forms, enter it in the EDC, follow up with the subject for site visit and respond to data management and clinical research associate queries. They are also involved in a budget planning and management of budget for the study and financial payments. Explain LOCF. Pharmaceutical companies spend several months to conduct longitudinal studies on human subject. It is unrealistic to expect patient to keep timely visit over such a long period of time. Despite all the efforts, Patient data are not collected for some and these become missing values in SS dataset later. 
for reporting the most recent previously available value is submitted for each of the missing visit this is known as a last observation carried forward lcf doesn't mean the last sas dataset observation which gets carried forward rather it means last non promising value carried forward it is the value of individual measures which are actually observations in this case also if there are multiple variables containing these values then they will be carried forward independently explain crm crm means clinical research managers they supervise informed consent forms for clinical trials case report forms and design and writing of protocols crm ensures that case report forms are reviewed timely and submitted to the data management group thank you